Hello, magical butterflies. This is Xtina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope you are having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. This is going to be a love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This can apply to all types of love connections. In this reading, this will just be an overall energy check-in on your love connection just to see what is coming, what is shifting, what is being released for the months of October through December 2020. This reading is intended to be timeless, so it can apply to anyone in any given time or space who is guided to my channel. This will be a general collective reading, so please use your own discernment when listening and watching this video and only take what resonates in your love connection and leave the rest behind. The way you will know if a message resonates with you, you will feel like I'm speaking directly to you. If you are trying to make it fit, then the message is simply not for you, so please do not take it. Let's get into the theme for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the months of October through December 2020. The deck I'll be using for the theme is the True Love Reading Cards. If at any point in this reading I forget to mention a deck that I'm using, it will be listed in the description box below. We have the Garden, Abundance, and Intimacy. What I'm getting from these three cards is that something has been planted as far as a seed. So you started putting out the intentions in the spring season or the months of March through June. I'm specifically hearing the month of April. So some type of intention was setting to bring abundance, to bring something back around in this connection and to have a more deeper, intimate connection with your person. Now you could be separated from this person, you two can be together, and you just wanna go to the next level, or you are calling in the person you are meant to be with if you are completely single. We have the gardener, the divine feminine, and compatibility. What I'm getting is that it's the Divine Feminine in this connection who has put forward or put into motion planting these seeds to bring something new about in her love life. She is looking for her forever person. She is looking for the person that she knows to be her true love, whether she has met this person or have yet to meet this person. And I do channel the Divine Feminine as she, but just know the Divine Feminine can be a man or a woman. So please take it as it resonates in your connection. Luminosity. Maturity. And spiritual maturity. What I'm getting from these three cards is that there's some shift that's happening in love. If one or both of you have walked away from the connection, you too have matured and you have used this time apart to mature spiritually, to go through a spiritual awakening, as well as mature in your physical 3D life, focusing on yourselves, doing your work, and having it illuminated what you need to have done in your life. So I feel a lot of you have really conquered and cleared a cycle when it comes to career, life, purpose, mission work, and you're really in the zone, you know exactly who you are, who you are meant to be, and what you are meant to be in this connection. And they're asking me to pull one more card. So the card I'm pulling is connection. So you know this is a divine love connection, regardless of the label that you, that you resonate with. And you know that this connection is going to come about when it's time. So overall, the theme... For these months for this reading is you have worked on yourself your person has worked on themselves and you are going to start seeing the fruition of the seeds that you have planted in the springtime specifically the month of april
the next section is going to be the overall energy of your connection. Now this will be just the overall energy of the connection collectively for both of you. The deck I'm going to be using for this is the fortune reading cards. All right, they don't want to spread out on this table, so I am just going to pull some cards here. Patience, slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. Plain, a journey is an indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. And the sun, open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. So patience is required for this connection to come into fruition. You both have cleared a cycle and you are embarking on a new journey in your lives and you are aligning your paths to cross again. The sun card shows me that brighter days are ahead when it comes to this connection and your lives overall. Coffin, natural endings abound, take care with your health. Cracker, positive energy surrounds you. Love and joy, good fortune awaits. Dragonfly, have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. What I'm overall feeling with these three cards is that the coffin represents the cycle that has closed. The cracker shows the new cycle that is going to begin. And I'm really drawn to the fact that the cracker is on a Christmas tree. So maybe around Christmas time in the month of December, that is when this connection is going to come back around. The dragonfly symbolizes transformation. So spirit is reminding you to have confidence because something is going to renew and this connection is going to come back around for the both of you. And they want me to pull one more card for this section. Beware, be careful who you trust at this time. So spirit is coming through with a warning to beware of who you trust at this time, who you trust confiding in. Make sure that you are confiding about this connection with someone who will not be a naysayer or who will try to make you doubt that what you feel is real. Also, be aware of your thoughts, be aware of what you're feeling, and be aware that you're Ego is not going to come in to jeopardize what your intuition is telling you. And overall, just beware of the people you connect with and who you confide in. I'm being guided to say, especially if you like to get readings on your connection, be very selective on the reader that you trust to look into your situation. Make sure that you are intuitively guided to go to this reader. Because remember, a true reader is not going to message you offering their service. You will be guided to the one who you feel resonates with you and your situation and who you feel comfortable with looking into your situation energetically. The next section is going to be the head and heart space of the person you are connecting with. Now this, the head space will be what they're overly thinking about you and the connection and what they're overly feeling about you and the connection through their heart space. The deck I'll be using is the spell casting Oracle career transformation and lighten your load. What I'm getting from these three cards is that both you and your person have really been focusing on the career, life purpose, mission work. You both have transformed. You have lightened the load in the sense where you two are focused on what is best for you, making sure you're making the money and not allowing other people that you work with to take advantage of you. So your person really was focused on career, but they're kind of transforming out of that energy because they want to lighten their load and kind of pull back how often they're working because they're ready to allow you to come into their life so they can spend time with you and get to know you. Protection, prosperity, and forgiveness. Your person wants to come in with an apology 
they want to show you that they can protect you and that they want to have this prosperity with you they want to have a new beginning and they want to start fresh in their heart space we have confidence commitment and well-being so they're very confident that they can come towards you now they're ready they are ready for commitment and they're really willing to put in the effort to put you first and to make sure that your well-being is taken care of and that they're taken care of your person has learned from the past maybe they weren't ready in the beginning but now they are so your person is ready to show you that they are the real deal and they want this commitment with you The next part of the reading is going to be releasing. So this is gonna be what's releasing in your connection, what needs to be released. The deck I'll be using is the Power of Surrender cards. Surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. So what I'm getting from this card is that it's time to surrender the negative talk in your head whether it's about your person yourself your connection they need to do the same don't listen to the ego just allow things to unfold naturally and just trust what your intuition is telling you surrender your fear of change the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always whether you're afraid of change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. So surrender your fear of change. Change is inevitable. Change is something that is going to happen whether you want it to or not, and change is going to happen when it's time. If you truly want to come back together with this person, meet a new person, go to the next level if you're in a relationship with someone you have to surrender whatever fears are keeping you from moving forward because as you change your life changes as you go to the next step in your love life surrender your addictions whether you're addicted to substances food people sex or overworking Take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So it's time to surrender whatever the addiction is, whether it is alcohol, substances, sex, overworking, negative thoughts, toxic people around you. Whatever it is, it is time to surrender these people to not allow what no longer resonates with you to be in your life. I am recording this right before a full moon that is happening in Aries. So the full moon will always show you what doesn't resonate with you. So whenever you're watching this video, just know, surrender what doesn't resonate with you anymore, who doesn't resonate with you, and release the people, the situations, the thoughts, the beliefs, and the patterns. Surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer when you pray. From your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe, and answers and support will arrive. Surrender to prayer, surrender this situation, surrender this love connection to the divine. Your prayers will always be answered. They will be heard the minute you say them, and they will be answered when it's time. Just trust that your angels are helping the two of you, because it all comes down to divine timing and it also comes down to the two of you making the free will decision to do the work, to follow the guidance, and to come together. And your last message for this section is surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. So. If you are trying to control your person, if you are trying to control the situation, if you are trying to control how the conversation is going to go when the two of you speak, 
you are blocking and you are self-sabotaging this from moving to the next level. If you're having signs and synchronicities about how the two of you are going to come together, but yet you don't see any physical evidence of it in the 3D and you are trying to control how they are going to act, you are wanting them to come back at a specific time or date, or you want things to happen a specific way, you are trying to control their actions and unfortunately you can't. So if you give up the desire to control people and in the same token surrender the situation, what happens is you just allow everything to unfold naturally and you give your person the time and space to make that free will decision on their own. The next section is going to be what is shifting or what needs to shift in your connection. I'm just going to take a quick sip of water. The deck I'll be using for shifting is going to be the Sacred Spirit Reading Cards. Number two, Celestial Gatekeeper. Timing is critical. And the number two is about partnerships and balance. Soul Fragments, number 50, I'm sorry, number 33, which equals a six, balance will be restored. And number 35, spiritual evolution, set your heart free. So what I'm getting from these three cards is that timing is critical, divine timing is critical, everything is going to come into balance, everything is going to be restored when it's supposed to, and if you set your heart free and you have this spiritual evolution where you just allow things to unfold naturally, everything will shift when it's time. It is really important to allow things to unfold naturally, especially if you're in separation or if you're wanting a new person to come into your life or if you're wanting to go to the next level with the current partner you're with. It's like the saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. You have to allow this person to come to you when they're ready. You can't force it. And all you do is bring that frustration and that anger and those negative thoughts to yourself. So if you go through this spiritual evolution and you set your heart free by trusting in divine timing, knowing that everything will balance out the way it's supposed to, that what is meant for you will never pass you by, you will have divine timing come in when it's time. Third eye vision, number 36, which equals a nine. Nines are about cycles closing, Reclaim your mind. Emotional challenges, number 13, which equals a four. Resolve the issue. And number 23, which equals a five, and fives are about change. Lead the way. Light your own path. So when you really trust your intuition and your third eye chakra is open and balanced, you reclaim your mind because you reclaim the power. You don't allow your ego to dictate the direction you want to go in. You will face emotional challenges because even the most intuitive, balanced people do, but you, re you will be able to resolve the issue because what happens is you focus on the solution and not the problem. And it makes you lead the way you change your way of thinking, the way you look at things, the way you look at people. And you're just more open to how everything is going to come because you are lighting your own way with your third eye chakra. And they want me to pull one final card for this section because when you do that, you shift into the birth of creation. Number six, potential growth. You have potential growth to move forward in this situation in your life to get to the next cycle, to the next level, and to the next phase. So just trust your intuition. That message does come out a lot in my general and personal readings. Trusting your intuition and just really listening to what your higher self is telling you, your guides are telling you, your angels are telling you, however you get the messages, whether it's through dreams, through your thoughts, 
through signs and synchronicities, when you do that and you really tap in and you let your intuition guide you, it's kind of like Jiminy Cricket and Pinocchio. When you let your intuition lead the way, it's like your conscience is your guide. Your intuition is your guide. The next section is going to be guidance advice. What you need to know and any action you might be guided to take either in your love connection as well as on your own personal journey of self. The deck I'll be using for this will be the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle. Number 40, rediscover your zeal. Pay attention to the passion you are feeling for discovery, learning, exploration, spirituality, travel, your work, or your relationship. Passion and desire go together, especially as inspiration. So rediscovering your zeal, rediscovering who you are, what you're meant to do, what your life purpose is, just rediscovering what you came here to do, what you want to do, what you want to manifest will really help you change your thoughts. You will align more with what you desire and you will really be in that element to just start moving forward. Number 49, which equals a 13. 13 equals a four. Be insightful and established. Ground and rebalance your energy. Bring your awareness into the now rather than allowing it to occupy the past or future. So this card comes through with the message, stay focused in the present moment. Do not dwell on the past and do not think too much about the future. When you stay present, in this moment in the here and now and you're not concerned about the past and you don't care about how the, the future comes about because you're listening to your intuition and you're trusting that whatever is meant for you will never pass you by you become more insightful and established because you're in the present moment and you're able to manifest what it is you desire and your last guidance message is change direction with ease number five this is a time for change, shape-shifting, or your soul's evolution. It is time to reconsider what you are wanting. You may be in for a surprise. So the way you look at things, the way you look at your life, the way you look at yourself, the way you look at this love connection, have a little change of direction with ease. Maybe you're overly focused on your person and you need to put the focus back on yourself. Maybe you're too focused on the past and you need to release the past and just stay focused on the present moment. Whatever it is, you can manifest what you want if love is what you truly want to come into your life. Now, if it's a person you're with and you're wanting to go to the next level, if the two of you are on the same page and want the same things, it is possible. If you're separated from someone, if the two of you want to reconnect, come back together, you two have to make that free will decision to do that. And if this is a new person you're wanting to manifest, you just have to be open to how and when it's going to come about. And another message I'm getting for those that are either separated from someone or in a relationship with someone, whatever you are trying to force before it's ready, take the time to look through the eyes of your person and see things the way they do and they need to do that too for some of you because it'll give clarity and it'll give that big shift and change so the two of you can really look at how this relationship this connection can shift and go into the next direction the last part of this reading is going to be possible future energy on what the future holds. Now this is possible future energy. It is not carved in stone. It is what can happen, what may happen if the two of you make the free will decision to do the work, to come together and to follow the guidance. The deck I'll be using for this is the Sacred Rebels. Number 45, which equals a nine, Pandora's Gift. We have another number nine, what do you feel? and new birth guarded vigilante number 24 which equals a six so what i'm getting from these three cards is that a cycle is going to close out in the future 
and that someone is going to open Pandora's box in the sense where they are going to reach out. You will feel it intuitively before they do it, but Spirit says in order for this transformation to occur, you need to just allow it time and space to grow. I'm drawn to the plant on her that is showing me your manifestation coming to life. The perfection of your life, number 30, which equals a three. Diving for light, number 11, which equals a two, and twos are about partnership and balance. And number 25, which equals a seven, release the dark wound, let love live. What I'm getting from these three cards is that you both are gonna be shown what it is you want in love. Your person is going to want to reach out because the number 11 is the number of new beginnings. It's also the twin flame number. And releasing the dark wound, letting love in, means the cycle is closed and the two of you will have the heart chakra open and balanced. And I'm going to pick two more cards to close out this reading. Number 38, which equals an 11, restore and replenish. And big bold vision. Number 15, which equals a 6. So there's potential for this connection to restore and replenish, but it all comes down to a big, bold vision of the two of you tapping into the third eye chakra and trusting your intuition and really bringing this connection back together through free will and allowing the other one all the time and space they need to heal, to close out cycles, and to feel comfortable to come back. I hope that this reading brought you clarity and guidance regarding your love connection. If it resonated, let me know in the comment section below. If it didn't, feel free to check out my other Zodiac readings as maybe there's another video that might resonate with your situation. If you would like to book a personal guidance reading or personal guidance session, they can be booked in my Etsy shop. If you are interested in purchasing any of the decks that I have created, they are available for purchase in my Etsy shop if you are located in the United States. If you are located outside of the United States, please message me and I will send you a special ordering link. Wishing you a beautiful and magical day, night, or afternoon, wherever you may be. Sending you love and light.